y'all, it's Lucretia Mitchell, and I am so excited to bring you into our world of love, legacy, and family with Investing in Love. Many of you know us as Chai. And Cree. And we're the Mitchells. And, and this, this is, is our family. family. Imani is our oldest, and she's very strong-willed, very responsible. The way she thinks blows our mind. She is so laid back, and sometimes that drives me crazy. Maya, our middle child, keeps us on our toes and always in our pockets. She is much like her mom with an outgoing spirit. And Kylian, the baby of our family, well, listen, she definitely knows it. She's very artistic and a lot like her dad and Imani when it comes to just being chill and laid back. Our family is not perfect by any means, but we love and support each other no matter what. Welcome to Investing in Love, where we'll take you on a journey of love, legacy, and family. Because for us, that's what it's all about. Listen, one of the ways that me and Chai keep it spicy is we take morning dates. So come check it out. Do what they got. on your agenda. So uh, tomorrow will be kind of free since we move things around with the shoot. Uh, I do need to, uh, I have a rolling practice. I got to go to that. That's our last one. And then Thursday, I need to, uh, what are we doing about me going to Tulsa? Oh. Because I have, I need to go since uh, that client is flying in from California. And we need to figure out Y'all, my man's so fine. He can give me a look, and it's always been like that, and I literally will melt. I love this man. As far as tickets for the plane. Yeah, plane they ticket. typically go on sale Tuesday night. They normally do, yeah. So we'll have to um, check that out and see what they're going to look like, because American Airlines is too high. Um, and then the Rowan thing, I have to be there at 4.30 at River Sport, and then it starts at 6, so it's from 6 to 9. Saturday it's crazy to think that we're talking about going to Hawaii when it seems like just yesterday we were splitting a bag of Cheetos. Listen, it's taken a while for us to get here, but we're just now being able to enjoy the fruits of our labor. All right, already. <laughs> what are you telling? On top of real estate and all the things I gotta do. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it for the week. And what else you got going? You working out today? Thursday. So you're not working out today? Not today. And you're not working out tomorrow. You know, I'm in my mind trying to think what I can have you do. <laughs> Nothing. What yeah. kid are you picking up? What are we doing? Yeah. So how are you feeling about everything? Like the light, just the whole process? I'm just ready to get started. <laughs> and the sooner we start, the sooner we finish. So. Yeah. I just wanted to see like where you was. I mean, I know we had a conversation last night, but I just want to make sure you did it. The sooner we start, the sooner we get to January. So, <laughs> I, mean, I ain't trying to speed up life, but yeah. just trying to get to the finish line. Yep. And hopefully, I need to turn in these papers because uh, they asked about uh, the, the next lot. Yes, the second lot. So, they asked about um, who owns the percentage of what. So, remember, you have, I think, 51% ownership. I have 49 So, I thought that was in there, but it's not in there. So, I need to find that get that to them and then it was something else that they asked for that I need to get them. I'll double check with uh, Johnny just on the progress after we leave over here what's the next steps for the bill. Did they lay the foundation? Or? I still don't know. Okay. When I had went by there I want to say it was Sunday or, or Monday morning I didn't that I didn't see anything. It, it was still the same. So. Hopefully the rain didn't slow them down. Well, here we are. That's two weeks of no <laughs> rain and then two days of rain. Now, yeah. So. From here, we need to go to the lot, check on the progress, and then um, I'll check with Johnny and see as far as timeline and stuff, and we can just go from there. All right, well, finish up this cat thing. <laughs> I know. I just want to. And what Thank time you. do y'all close today? Three. Okay. So we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good seeing you. Are you still in school? What's going on? 
the barista is somebody that I know. Um, I've known for a while now, and just to hear his story is just amazing, and uh, the accomplishments that he has made, I'm just super proud of him. And it's important to make sure that you make people feel valued and known. And so everything we do, that's what we try to do. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. You'll find your way. Yeah. It'll come to you. I'll see you next time, Drew. All right, bye. <laughs> To the lot. You know, I'm always comparing my um, goals, seeing what didn't happen. So I've been writing down my goals for a few years. And for a lot of time, I thought Chai thought I was crazy. But once we started seeing it actually come to fruition, uh, it just blew our mind and is actively happening in our lives. Listen, God is good and he's been showing out Pretty for much us. Pretty everything in here. Except for my volume. That's all. The goals that I did write down was to purchase our first development property by the end of 2023. And now we have two. Two more. We already completed one. We complete. Well, that ain't necessarily. That was a flip. So we right there. And then our goal to begin. One of my goals was March. We invest in two more lots. <laughs> Did that. Did that. Um, begin to build on those by June 2023. Did, Did that. that. used to be Northeast High School, they then turned it into class in SAS, and so this is a, is it still a magnet school? So it's like a magnet school, um, but you're talking about that school right there, and then our two lots are right here, off of East Hill Street. first investment was about a year ago with the flip property and Chai and I learned a lot through all of that and learned real quick that we wanted to probably um, tap into new construction homes and being able to bring attainable homes to communities. Yeah. So basically where you said that porch is going to be right there. Yeah and in the garage. So on the other house though, this is all basically porch and then you drive around here to, to get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I wonder if these are actually the older ones. Johnny told him 30, but, well, this is saying 30, but this right here is 25 built line. So it really is supposed to be 30. I need to call Johnny. Okay, hold on. So Johnny Maceo with Orbit Homes and Construction is our builder for our projects. And we've known him for a while now. We went to school with him. And it's important that you have a builder that you can trust and you have good communication with because little details like this can lead into catastrophic issues and cost you even more money. So it's very important that you stay on top of everything that you do. Hey, Johnny. How are you? Good morning. Hey, so I was looking at them plans that I sent you. 
And I looked on here and it says the build line is 25, not the plans that I sent you, but the plans that I printed for you. And it says the build line is 25. So I think I put the wrong site plan with it. Which one? 947 East Hill Street. They know it's 30 feet. Okay. It's okay. Okay. That's what I was wondering. We just came by to look at it, and I was looking at these plans while I was here. So what's yeah. wrong with the concrete situation? Just can't get on the, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to get on the list to get concrete. But I thought they were scheduled for a lap. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Does the, the rain. weather affect it? Yeah. So we got to wait until it dries. Man, I'm hoping that he told me yesterday that he can probably get it tomorrow evening. But when the rain came today, they can't drive those trucks up on the land. Got yep. you. So yeah. Concrete, concrete can bring it's too heavy. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Okay. Well, I mean, we we get it. We understand. And I, I yeah. just. We was just checking. Yeah, this is the tough part of it. It's, it's the frustrating part. Yeah. Of the whole deal. You know. All right, friend. All right, man. Take care. Okay, you too. Bye bye. Oh my, babe, you can't look. Oh, you can look I later. See. Yeah, you, you can see. look later. I, I can multitask. Oh, okay. That's equivalent to me driving and texting, okay? No. Yeah, it is. be all over the road. Babe, I'm serious about that com that commercial lot. They can't do nothing if he ain't willing to sell it. Well, I'm just saying we can talk to the real estate attorney to see how we can word that and set that up. That's, but... that's secondary. First, he has to agree to being But we have to, to give him the turn like if he could make a profit off of it in some way you give us the lot and you still are able to make a profit off of it to a certain point like you ain't gonna continue but like almost where we're paying you out over time as well then that would be a golden opportunity for us to have a commercial space right there that could be us in Tay's space you would have to also get that agreement with them yeah that's where that's where the real estate attorney comes in Okay, so let's divide and conquer. You run to the bank, and then I'll meet you at the studio. Uh, that work? All right. Love you. <clears throat> love you. As you can see, I'm a big dreamer, and one thing Chai gonna do is keep me grounded. He's my rock. He's my best friend. He's the person that motivates me and inspires me along with our girls. And so that's why we're doing Investing in Love. It's to show you what things can look like, what love and legacy and family and going after your dreams looks like. It doesn't matter your age. You can still accomplish everything you set your mind to. I remember being in a space where I stopped dreaming and being with someone that loves you so deeply, the way that he does has allowed me to dream again. And so I'm so grateful for that. So, because I'm a boss and I like to get to this money, um, these houses don't sell themselves, so I gotta get out of here. this season on Investing in Love. So she didn't believe me, but I told her, I'm gonna marry you one day. No, I did not. I knew he was different though, because I had dated people before, but he was very much like committed, just his attention to me. It was different from what I had been used to. 
whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. So that goes with content and everything. So when I do all of my listing shoots, mm -hmm. I'm looking at every detail. I'm working with my videographer to make sure that we're capturing the details of the home. Mm -hmm. We the last ones to get all our grouper. That's why it's important to be on time and not late. Everything you do, be on time. Uh, occasionally when she came to class the next day, if she had a busy day the day before, she might fall asleep or something, but I mean, she was so active and involved in everything. <laughs> and they, they'll be kind of crazy if you try to tell all the crazy stories that went on back then about ditching school and things like that. Justine in love.